The main, main thing is to try and refresh the inoculum about every four years because they will cross with other native rhizobias in the soil and you weaken the genetic purity and you want to get the latest and the greatest into the soil so you keep the genetic purity up. So it's important firstly to match, make sure you get the right group to match the plant you're trying to grow because there's not, not many cases where they're interchangeable. Uh, get that, <coughs> get the right inoculum, um, go through the right process, particularly with peat, to use clean water, clean utensils when you're making up the slurry, um, and applying it to the seed, um, follow up with some lime to so the seeds don't stick together, um, and that protects the rhizobia a bit, and it also creates a neutral zone around the seed for when the germination occurs. But the really important thing is that when you apply peat to the seed for inoculation, which is the cheapest and the most effective way to get the highest number of rhizobia into the soil, it must go into moist soil and as quickly as possible after it's treated. There are other methods as the freeze-dried product which can be used through a liquid carp. Um, that needs to be mixed with the water and the preservative added and let it sit for about four hours before you use it. But once you put it on the seed or, or down the, or when if you're putting it on seed, you've only got five hours to get that seed into moist soil. Or if you're using liquid down the, down the tube from the liquid cart, um, it needs to go in and be covered up straight away. Um, <clears throat> then there's the granular formulations that are available um, that you can mix with the seed and, and sow and, uh, and that's, that's probably the easiest option because you haven't got any other processes to go through before you put it apart from mixing it with the seed. So they're, they're key issues and, and uh, you need to, in most cases you need to avoid insecticides, fungicides um, and pesticides because they're all likely to kill the rhizobia and, um, and, and just hope you can keep enough rain going and, and good healthy growing conditions to get the best out of it. If you've got a, a really good stand that's not of, of subclover or medic, say, that's not, not nodulating, um, you know, you've dug the plants up and you've had a look and, and there's, there's nothing happening, um, but you've got plenty of seed there, there are a couple of options that you can undertake. You can drill, drill in granules into the soil. Um, you don't want too much soil disturbance, but you're going to have to do that pretty close to the break. Um, or uh, you could treat some other small seeded thing like, say, canola seed, inoculate that with peat and get it into the soil right at the break. You don't want to be doing that after after it rains because you, your subclover medic will have already started to imbibe and you'll interfere with the survival of those seedlings that are already on the way. So it's something, timing's critical for the, for the peat application, not so critical for, for drilling in granules.